Jan, what do you got going on with all these weird looking things laying around on the counter? They are a little bit weird looking, but that's why I thought I'd bring them to you because I want to show you how to use this stuff. It is so delicious and it's so good for you and it's easy. Easy. It doesn't okay. get any better than I'm that. I'm far easy. All right. So we've got acorn squash. Yeah. And you know, they're just coming into season and mm -hmm. I just cut that in half. Now this is all you have to do to use this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All I do is scoop it out just like that. Okay. Yeah. That's all you do. You, you can toss that stuff, but these seeds, if you roast them like pumpkin seeds, they are absolutely delicious. Well, I would roast them like I do pumpkin seeds. That is, I would throw both of them out. Oh, but well, that, <laughs> which won't do a thing for you. You won't all do right. a thing for me. Okay. <laughs> all right. So now in this case, all I did was I scored these. To help, help all the good stuff you're going to put in get down into the flesh. It's going to get all the way down in there. Mm -hmm. All right. So I've got about a teaspoon, probably kited my teaspoon a little bit, but a mm -hmm. teaspoon of butter at but each some one. some butter. Some butter, a little bit, and a little bit of water, yes. maybe a quarter to a half a cup. So right. it sort of steams them as they cook. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I've got some kiddos that I'm trying to talk into eating more vegetables. Mm -hmm. And one of the nutritionists I talked to said, if you have to sweeten it up to get them used to it, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. So I take that as license to turn this into dessert. And actually, it, it is good enough that if you wanted to, you could serve it as dessert. Yeah. You really could. But it also makes a great side dish, particularly things that are a little spicy. Well, oh, yes, that would be delicious. Mm -hmm. Of course, I would sit there and eat it by itself. Well, now, I have to tell you, I ask like I didn't know anything about this, uh -huh. but the truth is, this is the way my grandmother cooked acorn squash. Well, and this is which the... Which she grew. Well, and I haven't grown it, and I don't... No, that's, that's honey, right? This is honey. You can use maple syrup, too. I mm -hmm. love maple syrup, but I have a couple of teenagers at my house that decided to fix pancakes yesterday. So we're, that, going, we're going with honey. As we always said in the old country, life is like that. Well, and it's especially at my house. All right, so a little pinch of cinnamon, and you mm -hmm. don't need much. No. All right, so we've got a 400-degree oven. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I will say about this stuff, you want to give it plenty of time to get done all the way through. Uh-huh. Uh, if you don't have it cooked fully, it's not very nice. Okay. It is not. So about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. And mm -hmm. you, you want it super tender. You want it so that your fork will go in easily. Mm -hmm. And this is what you get. It's almost candied. Mm -hmm. And it's the most fabulous stuff ever. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and did, you, <laughs> did you put a fork out for me? No. Um, but that's all right. That's I all right. Find I'm not one the sort that would somewhere. <laughs> I'm not the sort that would complain. It's kind of a mix between a pumpkin pie and a candied apple. Well, and again, it's classic it's something that we've done with just enough change to really make it modern that's right and it's good it's also nutritious oh it's fabulous it's b vitamins and vitamin a and, and thiamine beta carotene. and beta carotene and yummy 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 on top of all of that and that's not bad when we get things that are really good yes that even a kid would eat yes and mine do so i can and, prove it and and it's still nutritious as well yes that's like the best that. of all worlds uh, folks we'll tell you exactly how to cook this Go to Chef's Recipe, 6450 Paper Mill Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37919, sending a self-addressed stamped envelope. Are you good? Go to local8now.com.